Hello, students. Today I will tell you how to address self-esteem at youth group. Let us know about this in detail. Self-esteem is a huge issue in dealing with teenagers today. Here are a few things to consider. So to answer the question, how to address our self-esteem, once we have discovered the root of our self-esteem struggles, there are a few things that have helped to maintain healthy self-confidence. 1. Focus on the positive. As we have already mentioned, negativity can be overwhelming and habit-forming. When we continuously focus on the bad things in life and in ourselves, it can be really difficult to see the good. Force yourself to focus on your good qualities and on your positive characteristics. If it helps, make a list of things that you love about yourself and keep it handy. 2. Set realistic goals for yourself. One of the things that seem to trip people up is that we often set goals for ourselves that are unrealistic. Then, when we fail to meet these overly lofty goals, we beat ourselves up. The best example I can think of here is the girl who tells herself she will lose 10 pounds in one week and then freaks out when she only loses 2 pounds. Seriously? Yeah, happens all the time. So if we set goals that make sense and we know are attainable, we are setting ourselves up to win rather than lose. 3. Learn from your failures. There is a difference between having low self-esteem and having a healthy desire for growth and self-improvement. The difference lies in how we react to our failures. We are bound to fail. Period. It is part of life. However, when we focus on failure and beat ourselves up for the things we have done wrong, we miss opportunities to learn and grow. 4. Respect your body, mind, emotions, and soul. Having a holistic approach to life leads to having positive self-esteem. That just means that you are aware of the connection between physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health. You can be as mentally healthy as anyone. But if you quit taking care of your body, your energy runs down and your emotions become weary. In the same way, if I repress my emotions and forget to think logically, my body can feel the stress and can often become tense and strained, which naturally leads to lower self-esteem.